Americans will drink a lot of beer during tomorrow's Super Bowl, but while you can count on getting expert help when picking a wine to suit your taste and budget, what about a beer? These days you could face a choice of dozens of beers of varied styles, so you need someone with taste and training who knows just what's in those bottles or taps. Dean Reynolds takes a look. While a wine expert is known as a sommelier, Ooh, thank you. a beer expert has generally been considered a drunk. But a man named Ray Daniels is hoping to change that. Americans used to treat beer like a can of soup. You buy it, you put it in the, in the cabinet, you leave it there for months or years on end, and you know, uh, you take it out, open it, put it, warm it up, it's gonna be just as good as it was. As the author of four books on beer, Daniels felt obligated to set some standards. So everyone should have 13 samples in front of them. The very serious people in this room are at the forefront of his efforts. They're taking a test to become certified beer experts, what Daniels calls Cicerones, so they can identify the aromas, the look, and of course the taste of a beer. The scenario is you're a beer expert. There's an initial uh, test online, followed up by a second in-person exam that involves multiple choices and tastings. Lorna Jewett is among the hopefuls. I'm really hoping I pass today, but it's a very serious examination. They're not messing around. Daniels created the program six years ago, and graduates must be able to teach brewers, bartenders, and beer distributors, as well as customers, about beer styles, flavors, and longevity. How did this start? Bad beer. Um, you know, I've been a, a beer enthusiast my entire adult life, and I was always amazed at how many places uh, had, would have 25 beers on tap didn't know anything about them. My code is... Daniels believes beer ignorance is widespread, and on this occasion, he didn't have to look far to find it. To you can smell the first one, a sense of that, and then compare it to like that beer. second one. Oh, yeah. No, there's a big difference. A big difference there, right? I, it just seems sort of flatter to me. Something, something wrong with it. Yeah, exactly. That buttery flavor is uh, called diacetyl, and that's a very common uh, off flavor in, in beer. So a trained server would pick this up and, and say, all right, this is, we've got to get rid of yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. We've got a problem here. Jerry's Bar in Chicago has 48 craft beers on tap, and the staff is required to seek at least the certified beer server status, Daniel's basic qualification. Nick Bondi is the bar manager. We need to have people that can say, okay, what do you normally like to drink? Mm -hmm. And if somebody says, I like to drink Stella, then we can guide them the right direction towards a beer that has similar quality. So the next time you walk into a pub and the bartender says, what'll you have? You could ask, what would you recommend? For CBS This Morning, Dean Reynolds, Chicago. I like a bar that has 48 beers on tap. Everyone in here was drooling, yeah. truth be told. Yeah. It's interesting, though. You always hear about how the test for a sommelier is so difficult. Uh -huh. Only a third of the people who took the beer test passed. So apparently the beer test is pretty hard, too. That's a tough test. It really That's is. a tough test.